Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the nutrition. We already know the complex food that we eat gets turned into simpler substances through the process of digestion. And how do we get energy? We get energy from the food through the respiration in the cells. The fruit nutrients also help us to grow, heal wounds and protect against diseases. So we need nutrients for the nutrition. We all are familiar with the word nutrition. But what is nutrition? The human nutrition includes the nutrient requirements, mode of intake of food and also its utilization in the body. In short or in simple words we can say the nutrition is the process of obtaining food necessary for health, energy and the growth of our body. We know through the digestion the complex food is broken down into simpler substances. But how does the food that we eat becomes the part of our body and reaches the cells? So digestion is just a part of nutrition. There are many other processes involved in the body. So now we can say the nutrition is some of all processes by which an animal or plant takes in and uses the food substances for energy, growth, etc. We first eat food. Now let us see what happens with it after that. We chew the food to grind and to cut it into smaller pieces. Different types of teeth do different tasks during the eating of food. For example, the incisors help us to take, bite and cut food into smaller pieces. The sharp canine teeth help us to tear the food. And the premolars and the molars help us to grind the food or chew the food into smaller pieces. You know, when we chew the food, it gets mixed with the saliva, which in simple words is spit. The saliva breaks the starch into the sugars. We know the mouth has a muscular tongue. Do you know the functions of the tongue? We use our tongue for talking. But besides this, it also mixes the saliva with the food during chewing and also helps in swallowing the food. We also taste the food with our tongue. Hence, the tongue is also a sense organ. The tongue has many taste buds on it which help us to enjoy different tastes. Earlier people used to think that different regions of the tongue have taste buds to know the different taste. For example, the front part detects the sweet taste the sides detect the sour taste etc. But it has been proven wrong. All types of taste, be it sweet, sour or bitter can be detected from all the parts of the tongue. If you are eating a sweet, you can taste it no matter which part of the tongue is touching it. After the mouth, the food travels through the long pipe like esophagus which is also known as the food pipe and then the food reaches the stomach. How does the food from the esophagus reach the stomach? You know the walls of esophagus contracts and then relaxes to produce a wave like movement which pushes the food down towards the stomach. Now the food is in the stomach. The stomach releases the hydrochloric acid to kill the microbes. The digestion of food mainly takes in the stomach and the small intestine. We know that the different enzymes in the digestive juices react with different nutrients to break them down into simpler substances. In the stomach, the proteins are broken down into simpler substances. 
the digestion is completed in the small intestine. So finally, the carbohydrates turn into glucose. Proteins turn into amino acid. Fats turn into fatty acid and glycerol. Still, the digested nutrients are inside the small intestine only. How does it reach other parts of the body and cells? The nutrients get absorbed by the small intestine wall which is full of blood vessels. The inner wall of small intestine has small finger like projections called villi. Each villus has many blood vessels. Why is the structure of villus finger like? Because of finger like structure the surface area of the wall increases. Hence there can be many more blood vessels. The villi absorb the liquid digested food and the food enters the blood vessels in the villi. After the absorption of digested food, the undigested food moves into the large intestine. The large intestine absorbs the water from it as the water is precious. After the absorption of water, the undigested food becomes semi-solid and get stored in a sac like part at the end of the large intestine which is rectum. The undigested semi solid food is called the feces or the stool. The fecal matter is removed through the anus from time to time. Now you may ask what happens to the nutrients absorbed by the small intestine? The absorbed nutrients reach the different parts of the body through the blood. That is, the blood is the carrier of the nutrients. How do we get energy from the absorbed nutrients? You know, the glucose participates in the respiration process to produce energy. The amino acid is used in making muscles, repairing body, etc. The fatty acid and the glycerol act as energy reserve for future. Thus, the nutrients get utilized in the body or get assimilated into the body. So, there are few stages of nutrition in the human beings and the animals. And what are these stages of nutrition? Let us see. In the human beings, the nutrition has five stages. First, the food is taken into the body through the mouth. The process of taking food into the body is called ingestion. Then there is breakdown of complex components of food into simpler substances. This is called digestion. This digestion of food happens as we know in the digestive tract. The digested food is then passed into the blood vessels in the walls of the small intestine. This process is called the absorption. So, after digestion, there is absorption of food. The remaining waste passes into the rectum and remains there as semi-solid feces or the stool. This fecal matter is removed through the anus from time to time and this process is called ejection. In short, the undigested food exits from the body as stool and it is called ejection. Lastly, the absorbed food is used up in body in many ways or we can say it gets assimilated in the body. This is called assimilation. So remember children, there are five stages of nutrition that is ingestion followed by digestion then there is absorption, ejection and then finally assimilation. So that was all about the nutrition in human beings. Bye bye children.